This week I'm actually rushing with a sorority for the very first time I'm actually legit doing it. One of the activities that is part of the rush week is painting, paint night, and they sent supplies over free of no charge. And I got this little board, this little paint thing, this cute little lip glossy. It also came with these two um, papers. I'm assuming they're part of the art project. And then I love popcorn, so this came with popcorn. And then it came with this really cute mask, which probably won't fit because I have a small face. But yeah, this is so cute. I just wanted to show what I got from the sorority. I don't know what to expect from this rush week overall so far. I'm super excited, so we'll see how it goes. I don't even know where to start because just I just don't know but there's just some things that I kind of want to get off my chest so first and foremost like where I've been what I've been up to I haven't vlogged or done anything for YouTube I honestly didn't think that I would be taking a break again it was kind of just unexpected and I just really felt it calling to me to really just take a step back and to really just think and reflect yet once again, which is what I did in the summer. But I felt that it was getting to the point where I was becoming very overwhelmed with everything. YouTube does take a lot of my time. I don't say that to be like rude or anything. I'm just saying it to be honest, just to let you know how much time I really put into YouTube. And like, obviously I'm not getting paid for it at the moment. You know, I really had to think about my priorities. It's been a lot of adjusting, especially like moving in. I don't know how long this will be as a person myself i bring so much to the table and i don't really want to limit myself to just making one type of content i want to be able to make multiple different types of videos on different aspects of the content because that's just me as a person i've been trying to catch up on my homework because i did fall behind i am joining a sorority right now the process is eight weeks total it's been rough i can't really share a lot with you guys because of just the sorority and you know we confidality confidality whatever <laughs> you get what i'm saying like i can't share because that's just the agreement i made with them it's been really stressful it's just been a lot and it's i'm not gonna lie i've been a little bit frustrated with myself because i you know, I love YouTube and I love making videos. It's just that I don't have the time for it at the moment. I've been falling behind in schoolwork a lot. Um, so that's one thing for sure. Also too, during this whole process, honestly this whole entire year, and even before that, I've been working on my business. It's taken a lot of trial and error, even though I haven't launched anything or released anything. It has been a lot. I have learned a lot. I have made a lot of mistakes, I would say for sure. And you know, that's just bound to happen. Right now I'm in the process of also writing the business plan, which if you don't know what a business plan is, a business plan is the Bible for your business. Like it just has everything that you need to run it. It takes a lot of time. Um, business plans can be anywhere from 20 pages plus it's just a lot of little things that's just been layering and layering and layering there's just been so much that has happened within this year yet alone i mean obviously on a global scale there's just been so much but personally in my life i just feel that it's it's a lot <laughs> and th i mean there's still a lot that will be happening i just kind of wanted to share how i felt i don't know what i can and can't share about the sorority itself however i'm just talking based on my experience um first things first the sorority i'm joining is different from a lot of the sororities that people are more familiar with and what i mean by that is that the sorority is an eight week long process compared to other sororities on campus it takes them about i would say like a week if not two weeks you know you have a rush week and you do like whatever you gotta do and then that same week friday i believe you find out if you're in the sorority or not and then you pay the dues however with my sorority 
it's an eight week long process. So that's just already different on a whole nother level. One, two, there's certain requirements and certain things required of us that have to be accomplished by certain due dates. And it's a lot. We had to do community service. Like that's just one of the requirements that the sorority requires from each and every single person. And it's 30 hours of community service. And you're probably wondering, how are you doing community service in a pandemic? Which has also been quite stressful because there's certain things that count and don't count. And there's certain things you can do. Like with community service, it's just been a little bit of a stressful thing. As you can imagine, I'm just like, what in the world? So we just passed the halfway mark. I'm gonna know if I'm in it or not by Thanksgiving. It's been a lot, as you can probably imagine. So right now, I feel pretty tired. I feel stressed out. I feel stressed out because I've fallen behind in classes. I'm a good student. It's just, it's a lot on me mentally and physically because I have an idea and direction in the sense where I'm going. It's just when you are just have no background whatsoever and you're just going into this like <laughs> full on, it's a lot and it's a lot to process. And there's just been a lot of things that I have been learning in addition to business. I just wanted to share my journey because when I first started doing research a year ago, there's a lot of people who show like the actual beginning, beginning process. I really wanted to show the process. Oh my goodness. Writing a business plan is hard. It's pretty much like paper, like a research paper of just information about your business, just all of it. The industry analysis, I want to go into fashion. So how the fashion industry is and you know, everything of that sorts of natures, the money that it does, how well it does, what it doesn't do so well. Information about my company, so like the overview of it, how it's organized, um, if my company was ever to be dissolved, which means no longer in business, how would that happen? The roles within my company, what parts am I gonna be playing as CEO, um, goals, objectives, marketing strategies you see what i'm talking about it's a lot of time and research so that's currently what i'm working on right now i'm learning tarot and i'm learning astrology so that's something that i'm studying personally i didn't really want to make videos about it because i'm not fully educated myself i'm barely a learner and i don't want to be putting out content that i'm not 100 percent sure about or knowledgeable about because it just doesn't make sense. That's just kind of where I'm at. Two, the energies have been feeling really intense. Take a step back, rejuvenate myself again, and just get ready to kick some ass because we're here to kick some ass. Like, I've been doing so much research. I have been doing so much every single day, like literally every single day. Anyways, that's besides the point. I'm about to go into astrology talk for a quick second. So I will try to make this as understandable as possible. <laughs> so if you're not really into astrology like I am, it's like, okay, kind of get it. Right now, technically, like I said, we are in two retrogrades, Mercury retrograde and Mars retrograde. Mars retrograde is six months long. That doesn't end until like January. And the Mercury retrograde ends around November-ish, like mid-November. And that's the last retrograde of the year. Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto are the three main planets that have been influencing us the world this whole year in and of itself so much we haven't entered a age of aquarius yet we are gonna enter it december 21st we're at the ends of pisces age pisirian age age of pisces there's so many of us because we're here all to do our purpose but yes we are coming out of the pisirian age and into the age of aquarius so that's why you know covid came and broke down everything so into astrology i'm so into everything like it's just i love it i'm all for it it's i've always been into astrology i just feel now that i'm older and that obviously that i moved out and i'm not judged by anyone i can kind of do whatever i want i feel more free and open to talk about it to be more like okay yeah like this is what i do and if you don't like it i'm gonna fuck because i like it so <laughs> you know so it's like i just don't care anymore what people think happy 2021 oh my goodness 2020 
sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. 